as you can see behind me, this is girl, and I'm at the Blue Eagle Credit Union in Salem, Virginia, and I thank them so much for allowing me to be here on today. And when I looked at this eagle for the first time, I was driving down the road and I saw the mural. And just to point out there that this mural was done by John Morrell and a very talented artist who has murals throughout Southwest Virginia. But this particular one, I loved it. Because you see these two beautiful blue eagles and they're sort of soaring. And I thank God for that because when I think about Easter and I think about Jesus getting up out of the grave, he conquered, like I said, death, hell, and the grave. But what I love about it is because of that, we as believers and those who are going to accept him can have life and have that life more abundantly. We're no longer bound by the law of sin and death because we're being justified by faith in Jesus Christ because of the blood that was shed on Calvary. It is a wonderful thing to have him in our lives. The Bible lets us know that he who the Son set free is free indeed. Are you free today? Are you celebrating your freedom in Christ? Are you celebrating a risen Savior? And I'm here today to say, yes, he's alive because I'm a living witness because he lives inside of me. If he lives inside of you and you know that he is alive, just give God a hallelujah praise and say, Lord, I thank you for my life in you. I thank you for my freedom in you. When I see that, that beautiful eagle, I began to think about all the characteristics of an eagle. An eagle, when we think about it, it represents freedom. Oh my goodness, it represents strength and it also represents power. So we serve a God who is in power and authority. It is a very windy day today, but I just thank God that I can come out here and just share these few little words with you. One thing that comes to my mind right now is that eagles are one of the only birds that can fly above the clouds. What happens is when it's raining or there's a storm, they're able to soar above the storm and get to a place where there is no rain. Most birds try to find a place of shelter, but I thank God because they know how to soar. And so today as you look at these beautiful words, I want you to know that you have freedom in Christ and you can soar above any storm that you're dealing with. No matter what it is, soar above it with Jesus, soar above it in faith, soar above it with his love, Soar above it with his kindness, with his grace and his mercy. Whenever you're looking at this, even if it's after Easter, just remember your, that you can have freedom in Jesus. And remember that he loves you. He died for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but shall have everlasting life. He said, I come to seek and to save those that are lost. He just remember that Jesus loves you. He will forgive you. He will strengthen you. And he will help you so that you can soar and live life abundantly. Amen. If God bless you, take five. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't. Also, I want to say this. Always remember that God's word is spicy. It's sweet. And it's just right. And I want you to live joyfully in the word. God bless you.